incredible for all the clubs. But yeah, really big occasion for both teams. GWS to stay in touch with their ambitions of playing finals this year. And the Saints just to erase that disappointing loss last week to the Adelaide Crows with a really big performance here. Should be tough conditions, blustery breeze, 16 degrees. But um, the stage is set for a big game, a very important game for both teams. Yeah, Max King going down to full forward now. Coming in next to him, so we'll wait and see there as well. I think that's going to be a great little partnership over the coming weeks until Tim Membry gets back into the Saints lineup. Mason Wood has been excellent. He's kicked nine goals this year, dominating the wing in all Australian form for the Saints. Wilkie down back controls that part of the ground as well. And Brad Crouch is one that we need to start highlighting. I think averages up around the 30 disposals each week. No one talks to him in regards to some of the key midfielders that we have running around in the competition. He's equally as effective and consistent as the very best. He's coming off a 30 possession game last week. Brad Crouch against his old team Adelaide. The most for St Kilda. So Filippo deep at full forward for the Saints. King just ahead of him in his first game for the season. And the big gun for the Giants, Toby Green back. And we're underway at Giant Stadium. Marshall who's coming off some pretty good numbers last week himself, by the way, career best form for him. Burns, likewise, has been in sensational form. Court. Marshall. See Briggs rucking as well for the Giants. Back into the lineup this week. And uh, taken by Wilkie. Webster was off fingertips. Wood gave it back to battle. Chips it wider. Webster back into the lineup. Sidestep was good from Ross. Early leap, but a nice grab playing in defence, Himmelberg. He can play anywhere, he can ruck, he can defend, he can go forward, Lynchy. Yeah, it's the first time he's lined up down back today, uh, this year. He's gone uh, back at different times as the seventh, but started there this week. Yeah, that'll be an interesting watch to see where they need him most. Angwin got it off to Kelly, who flicks that back to Angwin, got away with it. Canelio, well, he's zigged when he should have zagged. And now Kelly, little dribbler. Oh, nice. O'Halloran made something of it. Little slip from Toby Green. Sinclair made him pay. Caminiti got up. Fresh off a two-year extension to his contract. Why well, wouldn't be hot after getting that during the week? Hill goes long. Higgins couldn't get on the end of it. It'll knock down Callahan. Speaking of great form, one of their rising star nominees. Wangani Malera. Whitfield. Callahan. Ash coming off half back. He's a possession machine, Finn Callahan. And he gets it to half forward to Toby. Oh, jeez, oh, that's 50. Downfield. Is that 50? Back on. Wow. No. <laughs> that's wow. Toby Tax again. Wow. Okay, so he finds though. Daniels yeah. anyway. Brilliant kick inside 50 to Daniels, who's also been pretty consistent in front of the goals this season with 11 so far for the Giants. Mark clearly taken and then clipped high. <laughs> Maybe the umpire felt that he did drop the no, shoulder a bit. surely not. trying to give him a bail out. Oh, no, Litchie. <laughs> wow. It is phenomenal. Ah, isn't it? And the bend around goal tells us the footy gods are with them. They deserved it and they get it. Well, how, and, and how often do we see where someone's taken a mark and there's a split second where there's a bit of a push in the back and um, it's paid downfield. But here, once again, yeah, Toby Tax is alive and well. <laughs> One clip around the left ear roll. He appeals for it, but moves on pretty quickly and just kicks a dart around the body. That, yeah, that's... That's just short of reportable. <laughs> <laughs> he's, allowed, he's allowed to avoid the player coming at him, isn't he? Well, the... You make a good point, John. We talk about uh, players ducking, but if you're about to get a clip, <laughs> yeah. you should duck. Yeah. Well, we did get told during the week that a duck is different to a shrug and a dropping of the knees. If you drop your head, it's adjudicated completely different to if you drop your knees. Regardless, good start from the Giants. Briggs in the ruck. Marshall against him. Ball knocked out to Owens. Spun. Got a handball away. Wood thought he had it. Owens went back and got it to Burns. Hill. Roaming. Hits to steal. Got there. And he can go if he wants to. He gave it some thought. 
Managing a bit of a knee issue, so you can see the strapping on it. It's been there with him for a few weeks. Heads to the hot spot. A couple of options, and guess who? King is back in town, and he's taken one the first time they go forward. And how good. Great to see his teammates, because they're genuinely excited for a teammate that's been out with injury, but to get a star of this quality back in the side and, and just get his confidence up early with this grab. He just needs to go back and slot that one, but as we know, just such great reach. Should make it a goal apiece. You see he's parted for the king, and he threads it. It's all tied up, and they're all over him in celebration in his first game back. Well, that should be all over him. That's exciting, isn't it, from a St Kilda point of view? Great ball movement as well. Quick play-ons over to Steele. And you can see King there. He leads up. So this is good work rate right early. He gets himself back, gets the check, keeps fighting through it, doesn't give up on it at all, and then finds himself in a position to get a pure jump at it. So good fight from King there. Well and truly in the game now. And lets him know about it. Spot on, Jono. That's really well described. All the prep work was so important. Just, as you said, Jono, that, that prep work for the five seconds in the build-up to actually taking the mark, it sets himself up to take essentially an uncontested mark, but that is very, very contested. Don't worry about that. Shoulder issue. It's kept him out all season. A ham, hamstring issue as well. It's hampered him. Marshall, nice palm down. Straight to Ross, straight to half forward. Haynes clean, bowled by it. Owens trapped. Himmelberg, to mention, playing on him in defence at the moment. A little tap from Buckley was clever. Whitfield, Callahan, just the required, and didn't take off Peatling. And it wasn't 50. Dangerous. Mopped up, and Tom Green had to go and a bit more mopping, Whitfield on the wing. Just pokes it. And worked nicely to Perryman. Briggs forward, dumped away. So Flynn has played every game in the ruck, but he's been a little sore, knocked around the last couple of weeks. So they brought in Kieran Briggs for his first game of 2023. Marshall, one of the best ruckmen in the comp against him. Tried to rip it out of the air. Perryman got down low on hands and knees. Daniels got it up to Toby Green. So the King's back at one end and Green's back at the other. Well, the speed of Daniels there was, was critical in the way this was set up from GWS's point of view. Through the stoppage, goes out the back and cuts back around through the middle and then genuine leg speed to get in front. And once that occurred, they got the overlap to Toby Green, their stars back, with the goal early in this quarter, set up one. And now kicked one himself. As we said pre-game, he brings four or five goals a game, Toby Green, whether he kicks them himself or sets them up. Just saw then an example of the Giants getting on the outside of that stoppage. That was a bit of an issue for St Kilda last week against the Adelaide Crows. Once the Crows were able to spread, they got into space and generate uh, really good forward 50 entries. And on that occasion, the Giants were on the outside again. Last three possessions have been pretty good for Toby Green. He ripped the Swans' <laughs> hearts out with a goal. <laughs> his last kick in that game, and he's had an assist and a goal in this in his return. Kelly is inspired by it all. Gives it out to Fleeton, who looked pretty good in game one. It was against Collingwood under immense heat. Turned over. Hunter Clark, a roller. Didn't quite work for him. But Jones did pretty well and did pretty well again in the second attempt. Hill trapped, scoops it. Owens caught by the jumper as he tried to get the kick away. Haynes fends it through the legs of Himmelberg. Tom Green. Iden. Fleeton. Back to the wing and almost Sinclair. He kept it alive to his detriment, perhaps. And Halloran went in hard. Let's hope Sinclair's okay. He got a little knock to the leg. He looks okay. Good contest to start. Marshall, Hunter Clark, did he get a toe on it? And by cutting some slack anyway, made the attempt. 
Daniels inside. Sinclair knew what he was trying to do, but just a late handball got it to Daniels. And Holland's within range here. He can launch a ball. He took the dance step, and that was enough for him to be called to play on. Had to go to the pocket in the end. So, thought sharp, about Daniels. The, yeah, thought about the shot, and then Daniels thought about it as well and goes to Kelly to mm. open up the angle a bit. He was involved three times, Daniels, in that passage of play to end up now kicking it inboard to Kelly, who has got this kick well and truly covered. It's just accuracy. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, blustery breeze. It's not unpredictable, but there is a strong breeze out there. Also coming off a good game last week, albeit in a last 27 possession game. And he slots it with ease. Well, Lynch, you can see his accuracy from that, that yeah. spot before that. Four goals won. It was every chance and went back and nailed it. A good build-up again by the GWS Giants out of a stoppage. They worked it through. And then Daniels, who in the end here is unselfish. Just go to sleep here a little bit, the Saints. Their hands on hips, just taking a break rather than working right through their defensive aspects to clog up the forward line of the Giants. Impressive start by the Giants. Really needed to bounce back after a disappointing week last week. Their pressure was right off. They were up against a class acting in Collingwood, but... Um, Josh Kelly just having a spell after that goal. I don't like it when the physio is hanging around, but just to give him a drink, I think. So that was good. Tom Green, also been a spectacular form. Hits to half forward. Riccardi back to the lineup. Peatling, chip kick, a dart. Delightful dart to Toby Green. Takes some time to think his way through it. Deep breath. He looks confident with his, his bread and butter. <laughs> well, actually, he's between whether he goes around the body or a set shot. Great to have him back. One of the superstars of the competition. Giants are back here at Giant Stadium for the first time since round three, and he misses it. The last couple of home games have been in Canberra. So Kelly getting some work done. Oh, looks like the doctor there. So the physio was lurking around for a yeah. valid reason, so that's not good signs early in the first quarter. It's out wide and good mark taken. What? Mason Woods in a spectacular form. Holds it up here, doesn't want to go straight away. Pressure on the kick. Thumps it. King got there to make the contest. Perryman missed his target with the handoff. Fleeton. They're just quicker at ground level at the moment, the Giants. They're first to respond and get themselves and get their bodies in a position to break through, win the first ball once it hits the ground. So Kilda need to adjust. Marshall, a little pat down. Crouch couldn't get away with it. Hunter Clark. Perryman holds him up. Jake. Rowan. Let me get back that way. Again, Riccardi doing some pinch hitting in the ruck. Marshall off it. Steele. Another that had a chance but couldn't get it away. Cornelio does. Rolls it into some space. Webster rolled in the tackle by Halloran brilliantly to Crouch. To Hill. Goes back to go forward. Had a couple of options. Steele, Sinclair still going back. Crouch. Floats it. Riccardi. Haynes. Open space. Half forward. Sinclair got back. So no bump free. Hogan gets there. Gave it up just in time. Crowd were roaring for a free, didn't get it. Not enough noise of affirmation, perhaps. Oh, has to be Dwayne. Steele. Butler on the full 720 got away with it. And back to Sinclair. And they do dodge a bullet. King's got it. Over the back. Gresham, that's phenomenal. Plays on into trouble. But got himself out of it and kicks their second. That kick from uh, Max King just had the extra five metres penetration to get the ball over the back. And Himmelberg felt that he was in a really good position. Just have a look at this <laughs> blocking free kick that wasn't paid. That's just clear block. Sometimes um, I don't know what I'm watching anymore, Lynch, than with some of these free kicks that aren't puzzling. paid. Yep. But you know what you're watching here? This is a class act here. So 
gets back off the mark and then just off one step. That's a penetrating kick that renders Himmelberg useless. And that is, or Haynes rather, just great kick, get over the back. And an easy goal in the end. And that's a really good start. And an important reply for St, Kil for St Kilda. They've struggled to get the ball on the outside into space. Jay Gresham, another one back in this week. This last week with a knee problem. Riccardi, a free hit, and the umpire recalls it because Marshall kind of gave up on it. Stayed inside the circle. Yeah, which just is, didn't have, didn't have the height on it. Square, mm. Probably a fair call. Now Marshall has the advantage because it's tossed in the air. Crouch floats it. Himmelberg back there to make a contest. Hyden, nice win. Poor Hamble. Wood, Dak got it away just in time to Crouch, who is in hot form. And it's marked on the line by Butler. Bit of a missed kick from Crouch, having a shot of goal. That worked out well, Butler first to respond. He's got to be on the toughest of angles here, you'd think. I think he's, he's conned him for a metre or something. No, he hasn't. I'm <laughs> probably awake to it. And slots it. And it's three goals apiece. Well, it was out of the middle of the ground. On that occasion, the secondary bounce, you called it perfectly, Dwayne. It did suit Marshall when the ball did go straight up by the ump over the top to Crouch. And then they were able to build it, uh, build it nicely into their forward half of the ground. And you can see there Crouch having a shot, just hits it a bit skinny. And Butler first to respond. Great fish in there from the goal and pie cam. You're not going to give him a um, goal assist for a good pass there, John. <laughs> <laughs> you know you'll claim it, Michi. Absolutely. That's all that matters. Claim it. Dan Butler certainly claims it as well on the end of that one. Yeah, really important 30 seconds for St Kilda. It looked like they were being out, outrun and out, uh, out pressured. And he's a great goal kicker, Dan Butler. 64% career. 132 goals, 70 now. Owens in the ruck as their pinch hitter for the Saints, as he has done so often this season. Crouch, advantage paid. He got under that. Haynes going to have to go here against the flight. Now he stays down. King went there. Knocked it down. Wood caught by, or a couple, Perryman and Anglin. Just sort of an example of um, Mitch Owens competing then in the ruck. Just threw himself at the contest. He's been good at ground level in this first quarter as well. For a 17-game, 19-year-old. Yep. He's having an amazing career. Bedford darts away. Cabman can't get there, their number one draft pick. Or well, he did, but he kept it alive to his detriment. Howard, Burns, Wangani Malera, Ross, Burns. Nice use. Still a pilot. Puts it in the King and Cam Caminiti direction to Haynes. The intercept King. Steadying the ship for the Giants. Heads wide. Peatling, nice climb. Bring the ball down. Perryman, Callahan, Kelly, Whitfield, handball smothered. Trouble now. Filippo, caught, gave it to Butler. Time to size it up and lace out with a ribbon on it to Max King. Great adjustment by Butler there. It was nearly mid-kick where he saw King and adjusted the, the ball drop to be able to go inside on the left. Philippou just to get that ball out, you know, not allow it to be uh, held in the tackle, but just got the ball out to allow Butler to use his skills and hit the target. The perfect return for Max King. Two goal opening, 10 minutes to his return game, and he misses. Ross Lyon, 10th game as Saints coach, second time around. Had his team at Mulligan last week for the biggest loss of the season. Floats a little. Owens made it his own. Howard, Ross, Whitfield. 
They asked the question, but not enough noise of affirmation again to give them any benefit of insufficient intent. And there's Adam Kingsley, 10th game as Giants coach. Moment. Both these clubs here, pivotal point of the season. Chances of playing final slipping away for the Giants if they lose this. And the same spot in the eight. Vulnerable next week if they were to go down in this one, the Saints. Ross got there. Just mesmerised them all. Wanted past a few of them. King East under it. Angwin. Court. Cornelio. Callahan spins out of a jam. And Cornelio's problem though, and he's caught by Caminiti. Forward pressure here by the Saints, locking it in. Now they get a chance at stoppage. McCarty, Owens, Crouch. There was no one there. Since Owens has been in the middle of the ground, um, they've been able to balance up the clearance a little bit. He's competing <laughs> extremely well and getting his hand to the ball. He's, uh, he's developing rapidly as a great utility player. Called an next gen academy local product and been a ripper, genuine top list contender for the rising star as Whitfield works his way past them. They spent that before for it, it fleet and got back to Moppy's mess up, but it's turned over. Gresham stripped, says he got one to the head. Umpire paid neither. Kelly threads it through Whitfield, Callahan, and they're out over the top. Bedford back to Whitfield, all by hand. Feeds it further on. Cabman, Callahan, normally a good user. Just floated that a little too central. Works though. Perryman chips it back. And young guns everywhere in this game. Cabman has an opportunity to make it his moment. Good handball chain there by the Giants to get themselves out. I like the Whitfield handball. Looks like a top spinner to get the distance on it to keep it alive as well. It's their sixth mark inside 50 for the Giants early in this game. Had a full game last week against Collingwood after being subbed off the previous two games. Never gave that a run. Told you it was blustery. Mm. <laughs> it's not that blustery, though. <laughs> be disappointed with that. They picked one last year's draft. The Giants traded up to get him. Wagon in Malira back to Wilkie. On a Clark. Almost the turnover. A little pat down from Daniels and then the bump written beautifully by Stocker. Himmelberg puts it to grass. Fleet and caught. And a little too high, perhaps. Right. Flung in the air. Tom Green. Great tackle by Steele. He got out of the steel trap. Filippo. Gresham, centering kick, Owens is lurking, oh, bang, oh. he got one of the heads, surely. Yeah, great work, ducked back into that one, had the hands in the back, but the difference there to what we've seen in recent weeks, he wasn't creating the space, he was holding that space to drop back, and was dropping back, would have taken the mark, but got clubbed over the left ear, and that's an obvious free kick, and uh, he's been very impressive in this first quarter as he has been in recent weeks. The three goals in a row for the Saints. First time they've been in front in this one. The Giants dodge a bullet there. Yeah, they've got to defend well now, the Saints, after that. Got to Whitfield. make sure the Giants can't transition off that poor miss. Tash to Himmelberg. Howard went with the fist. Back alive for Bedford. Quick. Tight ropes the boundary, does well. Needs a target. Wilkie is a hard man to pass. Steele. Whitfield stole it from him. Tom Green. Just blasted in hope. McCarty beaten by Sinclair, whose fist was good enough. Daniels. Perryman, 
His body in the hole, but went for the chest mark. Marshall on hands and knees. Big ball to win. Kelly does win it. Wobbles it into a dangerous spot. Halloran couldn't collect it. Gresham does. Butler against the grain. Steal. And they're out. Free kick to Higgins. And he takes off. He doesn't waste any time. And the umpire said, no, you were ahead of the mark. But Can't do that. you got to try it. <laughs> See if you can get away with it. Yeah. Stan. Sinclair. Open space for Wangani Malira. Spills it though. Bedford, Wangani Malira. Wilkie. Hill. Beautifully worked. Lopes along the wing to half forward. Chips the ball with precision to Caminiti. Beautiful pass and a nice um, lead. He changed his mind after the ball drop on the kick and they get a ball in. As I mentioned earlier, signed until the end of 2026 during the week. And he has been a Cinderella story. Last player on the list over summer. Doing some ruck work. Gets his own work back. Briggs. Perryman. Putting down low, Wangani Malira. You have to try to find something short. They've set up well behind the ball, the Giants. Spears into the space, and it's amazing to think that Gresham could find space. Uh, great pick up, Richie. Oh, I mean, the grid was there, the defensive structure was in place, but they were sort of stationary. But that's a beautifully weighted kick just to get over the, the zone that was in place, but just uh, too slow to react. That's a great pass. You see, just the Gresham, just a little point. Yep. Just saying, if you, if you like, I'm here. He's been good for a goal a game his entire career, Jay Gresham. Game 122, he's kicked 124. They pick 18 from 2015. It's his eighth season. Can't add a second to his tally in this one. Just a couple of very gettable chances. St Kilda after a sluggish start, it's fair to say. Emelberg pumps it away. Capman comes up to make a contest and maybe get the knockout. Sinclair stopped that from happening. Clark, Webster, Hunter Clark again. They're going back to go forward though. Marshall. Early leap, bringing in Malera Sinclair. Got it off hands to perfection. Hill slid away from a couple, but not away from Bedford. His spin was. Magnificent to Himmelberg. Tom Green. Daniels, the tiny dancer. <laughs> Always on the move when he gets it to Cabman. He's got options of plenty, and that's probably not the best of them. No, that was terrible considering they had the spare forward. So they'd been able to sneak a player forward, and he's just why I think he rushed the kick. He just wanted to get it forward to his uh, teammate. He had a lot of space. Filippo feeds it on to Crouch. The Saints make them pay. Little fumble from Butler. Himmelberg went and got it, gave it. Is that ball? Whitfield was an illegal handball. Last 10 minutes have been much better from St Kilda. Just need to capitalise on the scoreboard. Filippo looks up. Caminiti running out of the square. King lurking as well. Owens, they're all up there. Fleeton. Near the boundary line was his sanctuary. Both teams are leaped with their pressure, but you're right, Lynch, for the, the Saints, that's that's increased over the last 10 minutes with what they've been able to produce. Last nice five scoring shots have been for the Saints. Briggs, Tom Green, the spanks it away in hope. They've got numbers in the middle. Hogan he hasn't seen a lot of it yet. Well, he had to wait. They got outnumbered deep. Daniels goes wide toward Peatling. Stocker did well. Did brilliantly, really. Yeah, that's excellent. Could speed. have taken it out, but he kept it alive. Whitfield one way. Daniels pops it back. Cornelio, oh, it's almost too quick for his feet. Kelly. Tom Green. Out of trouble again. We've seen a couple of examples in the last few minutes of how slippery the ground is. 
Players from both teams slipping over. Callahan, centering kick. Hogan, and got it! Huge grab. It's worked hard the last five minutes, Jesse Hogan. He's been involved in the middle of the ground. When they've been trying to transition out of defence, GWS, and then push forward. It was unlucky when Cornelio slipped that he was one out. At that time, they had to go back and around the Giants, eventually get a long ball in. It's a good mark over the top of Marshall. To give the Giants back the lead and settle things down a little. They needed that. Well, Saints have had a couple of opportunities at the other end and missed set shots. A couple of easy set shots as well. The Giants finally get some transition right to get down to the other end. And you can see the work here from Jesse Hogan, working for blocks, gets a pure run at it. Just uses his big frame to just edge Marshall out of the way, take a good contested mark. He too spun the wheels when he first went to lead. <laughs> Just see Lockie Whitfield, just that uh, right hip flexor just getting treated by the physio. Looks pretty uncomfortable there, so that'll be a must-watch over the next few minutes and through the quarter-time break. They did play a game on this ground earlier as well, so the shifting turf of the show. They've been in Canberra for a few of their home games in recent times, and now the slippery turf will get a quarter-time siren about the sound. And they can reassess what studs they're wearing, perhaps. But the Giants hit back late, 4-1-25 to the Saints, 3-3-21. Some momentum the Saints way, but it's great to have the big guns back. Green at one end, King at the other. Quarter time. Hit pain on the back of that incident, so he's just going through with the physio and the doctor about that incident, so hopefully he's back out there soon. Yeah, so Callum Ward, the emergency for the Giants, their emergency ward again. He was the emergency last week. <laughs> Keep an eye on that. Perryman gets the clearance. Early momentum could be big here. Little bump. Halloran. Hogan not caught high. Daniels had a good first term. Knock on was nice. So Halloran goes out wide. -er. Tom Green on the back pedal. Filippo wraps him up. Was that a kick? Crouch. Threaded it through to Wanganin Malera. Overcooked the pass option. Buckley. Himmelberg still playing in defence. Tom Green. And stolen back. Wanganin Malira off and running. We're out here if he can get up. King back pedals. Oh. He it into Iden's boot. Out and it was on the full. How <laughs> good's that? Maybe not. Is it? Well, it's worked perfect, perfectly for the Giants because it's held up play. So he was trying to play on. King was trying to play on to get it through because they had the spare forward of the ball. It's at the knee. So it's been called to throw in. So it's got to be below the knee, doesn't yes. it, to be deemed a kick. So a little unlucky there, but yeah, they had the out number forward. Back into play, Briggs muscles his way to it. Marshall on hands and knees. Higgins goes back, Wood. He floats it a little, but he got enough on it for it to roll into the breadbasket of Max King, who's looking extremely good early stages of his return game he's just presenting he's just putting the big frame in front and with the ball coming in the way that it is and some of the delivery that's gone his way right place at the right time he's kicked one one and they're at the king's mercy right now saints back in front A uh, really impressive start um, for Max King. And we did touch on it earlier. Ross Lyons sort of said it's going to take him a few weeks. And to get his full confidence, uh, it will. But one of the things as a, as a marking player, sometimes you, it takes a bit of time to read the, the flight of the ball. I mean, that was a shorter kick, so that's a lot easier. But uh, to get to the right position, it looks like he's had no problems whatsoever to find the drop zone, moving well. He's confident in his body.
Looks good, looks confident. Beautiful purple skies here at Giant Stadium. The crowd enjoying it. Close contest. Back in the middle. Two-point game. Some of the big stars with the competition in action. And we've got a recall. A flat spot in the middle there. Yeah. Obviously, from the, the cricket wickets were there, but they, they drop in the replacement turf. Sounds a bit hollow at the moment. Tom Green to Cornelio. Slipped again. Toward half four for the instant reply. Hits the deck. Howard. Burns. On the back pedal. Got enough on it to get it towards Owens. Hands are spectacular. Oh. That, that is a, a genuine contested mark. He's got a great presence about him. It's a good spot with the kick as well. King couldn't get near it, had three around him. Little fumble from Ash. Briggs. Perryman wobbles it away, and the umpire will allow that to be a ball in. Here at Rowan. Plenty of giants amongst the possession getters, but the scoreboard doesn't really tell that advantage in terms of the goal numbers. Daniels outside of the boot. Wanging in the Dangerous. Green, good attack. Wood the other way. Green will get it. Time to size it up. Or he's equal to the zag. Wilkie was right with him. Hogan. Fed it wide. Callahan, little fumble again. They turned them a couple of times in this early part of this second quarter. Fumbles from the Giants in around the contest. Here's the tackle here. It's a good recovery from Wilkie. I thought he had the step. Yeah. Toby Green thought he was through. Briggs slapped down. Crouch in the congestion. Tom Green, another possession. Cornelio up against the boundary. Centering kick, good spot. Halloran, great grab. Well, another giant this year who's hit the scoreboard on a regular basis, kick seven, so he's done his bit. Just see the combination of himself and, and Daniels. It's a great finish from Cornelio to hit that spot. But not just an, an old floater. <laughs> it was a uh, well-executed pass. Kick 1-3 last week. 7-5 for the season. Scrapes that in by Coat of Paint. Well, good news for the Giants. Whitfield back on and moving OK. And that uh, that ball movement was excellent from the Giants. Just a little toe poke out. From Tom from Green. Green, which was oh. pretty smart in congestion. And then the ability for Cornelio to use that left peg and get it over the top into space. Now, Alleran had to hold his ground here, show some nerve, stand under the ball. Take a good mark. So back in the middle. Done pretty well in his return game. Kieran Briggs in the ruck. Marshall against him. Marshall gets a palm on it. Well, Clark gave it off, but Ross couldn't get it and go. So he mopped his mess up, gave it to Sinclair. Straight down the spine. Gresham, Higgins, Hill, all lurking, hoping. Scrambled away into the space. Daniels having a day out. The Nyanaya flyer on the move. Heads long, full forward. Hogan's down there. Wilkie right with him. Peedling didn't quite skip through Wilkie. Turnover though, and it's ball. Saints asking whether he took advantage there. Yeah. Daniel's not called though. Strong tackle by Cornelio. He's been good, Cornelio. He's uh, had some important clearances. This is his 10th disposal, coming up from number 10. 
33 possession game last week against Collingwood, the most for the Giants. He was instrumental in keeping them in it for a lot of that game, even though they were blown away in the end. And keeps the momentum their way. Actually, this is better from the Giants as well, because we know they get a lot of ball there. They always generally win the possession rate against the opposition, but we don't usually see too much come come from it. But what we're seeing in this second quarter is, is good effect from the midfielders, the high half forwards who are using the ball well, and they're hitting the scoreboard. Yeah, and again, that defensive pressure, or the pressure on the opposition that wasn't there last week against Collingwood, and it was their number one target. They, they wanted to make sure that they made a big impact in that stat. Steve Cornelio, over the last 12 months of football, he's just really working into some great form. Back into the elite categories too. Yeah, pick two in 2011, Steve Cornelio always had the potential to be a big gun. Keep an eye on that injury issue as well. Luke Haynes, yeah, yeah, going down with the doctor. The main intercept guys. Callahan, nice dance step. Wilkie stands under it. Hogan beaten by Wilkie. Dan. Just through from the Giants. But uh, Nick Haynes has been uh, in that HIA protocols now, so off for a head knock. Okay. So that normally takes about 20 odd minutes to go through Dan. the correct protocol of that. Stocker oh. through Callahan's hands. Fleeton well, he knew what he wanted to do. He couldn't quite hit Cornelio with it. Talking about Cornelio, though, they've got a number of players, the Giants, who are about to play their 200th game. This is game 187, Cornelio, Lockie Whitfield, Nick Haynes, Toby Green, Josh Kelly. The core of their players that have been around the place for a while now. We're starting to blossom together, which is great news. Sinclair to King. Hands it off to Hill. He's off and running. Little chip kick is good to Higgins. Had to get down low and got it. Made up an extra couple of yards there to get to that. You tend to if you think you're half a chance to get a mark in front of goal. But that was a good scrambling dive from Higgins. And uh, the important shot at goal for the Saints. Giants have been very good at the start of this second term. Just made up enough ground to take a class grab. The two goals in a row for the Giants. He gets it there. Smart handball by Max King in this whole build-up by the Saints. Sharp little give to Bradley Hill, who's just cruising past. And there it is, tries to disguise it, a little bit of a no-looker. And then Hill puts it into the space. Oh, you're right with Higgins. Did enough to get there. Maybe the uh, point of the ball touches the ground, but... Gets away with it. He's not happy, Adam Kingsley. And fair enough, too, because that was the easiest St Kilda being able to transition the ball from the back half through to score in this game alone. Their pressure's been excellent. You've highlighted a few times, Lynchy. Oh, yeah, incredible. It has been right up there. Just, uh, But that was good finish, and they needed to reply, St Kilda. Keep an eye on Haynes here. We might have a situation where he's out of the game. Gresham gets the clearance for the Saints. Fleeton put it to grass. Trouble now. Hyden, little knock on. Butler working hard. Crouch keeps it in. Yeah, Cal Ward is up. The sub has been made, Dwayne. So Nick Haynes out with that HIA and Ward into the game. I mean, a very handy uh, sub to have come in, but yeah, such a disappointment to have Haynes out. Ross bounces it to a good spot. He bounced it oh. to King. He got the Breen bounce, not the Milne bounce. Oh, that is one of your best, Wayne. That is the perfect way to describe that for St Kilda fans. And it's just out of stoppage. They've worked on their clearance game the last few minutes. They've won the last four, where they're down by about seven or eight. And Max King must have a mate out the back because he's launched that out of the stadium. Lucky bounce. He's worked well. 
important so far in this game. Oh, you take that. And sometimes the, <laughs> the ball never goes into your hands. You're just having one of those <laughs> tough days at the office. But Max King, first game back from uh, injury, first game back for the, the season, is in some good form and a little bit of luck going his way as well. Three goals and counting for one of the superstars of the competition. Back in the middle. Cornelio tried to extract it, and Gresham gets the all important clearance out wide. Hill. Used his body, used his brains, and couldn't quite use the skill to get it to King again. Himmelberg allowed to get away with that. Fleeton in a spot of bother. Caminiti wraps him up. Gets a pat on the head for his trouble from Seb Ross. Plus two in centre bounce clearances now. The Saints have had a big quarter in that area of the ground. Big turnaround, yes. Back in front by two points, the Saints. Ash couldn't collect it. He knocked it to his disadvantage. Wobbled away by Kelly. Playing in front, Daniels. Gathered his own crumb nicely. And into space. Wide ball, though, for Hogan. Had to go and retrieve it. Ole got his arm free. Gave it to O'Halloran. This is the kick, though. It's a bullet to Toby Green's chest. Turned himself on the landing. Yeah, was it his left shoulder? Was it, was it a hemi? Well, I thought he grabbed his oh, left no, shoulder. Right, yeah, yeah, right there. As he's landed, he landed on the point of that shoulder and uh, possibly an old injury. He's probably used to this. This again, nice dart, great pickup. Would have been better that the turf was soft for him that time. Green back home and the green, green grass at home, not quite as they'd like here at Giant Stadium, but they're making a good fist of it. Jono, this has turned into a nice game of footy. I mean, ebbs and flows each way. And uh, just see now, after a couple of goals to the Saints, Canelio once again getting involved with the Giants moving forward. Nice work from Hogan and great finish again for a leading target. Inside 50 marks are, are right up there, but it yeah, looked in enormous pain there at one stage. So you would, you would imagine it's an old injury. See there, a bit of the blood at the back, but a bit of jumper burn from the tackle, no doubt. But yeah, just a sore left shoulder for Toby Green, who's made his presence felt with two goals in this first half. Both teams have had some good moments with transition off half back. That's that could be the game right there. Is the team that will have the best effect when they have that turnover at half back and go forward. Riccardi from the restart, kicked in the air. Burns met head on by Perryman. Mitch Owens found the target. Filippo dances around. Owens handball smothered. Webster. The umpire going to read that. Ball up. He certainly has a crack. Owens, no doubt about that. We read out some stats pre-game, but the one I missed is he's number one in the league for post-clearance contested possession. So number one in the competition for the young 19-year-old. Yeah, he's been and a ruck at this young age as well as a pinch hitter. Remarkable. Ball out wide. Little shrug. Ward on as the sub now. And some experience, game two, 79 for Callum Ward. Look at this tackle from Perriman on Burns and probably let him down gently enough to not be in trouble. Webster, Burns, numbers behind the ball. Let's put it to grass, though, no Peedling. Saints about to make him pay, although Ross fended, surely that's ball. I can wrap him up. And he fists the turf, knowing he made a blue there. Iden into the middle. Cornelio. It's been the generator. Himmelberg about to kick it to where he'd rather be, perhaps. Forward line. He's doing the job down back. Wilkie off hands. Stocker. Webster. Let's 
Set up the zone, the Giants. Riccardi, his return game has been pretty good so far. Although, he's given the free kick away. And all the players that have returned for both teams actually have had an impact in this game. King, not quite the second grab. Buckley knocked it away. Burns keeps it rolling to half forward. Iden one way. People in the other. Now Fleeton gets a chance to jump on him. Give some advice. The umpires and the players. The old school advice right over the boundary. Heads toward the boundary and Owens can't keep that rolling. Talk about the 200 gamers. Toby Green's on game 199. I have six by the end of the season, 200 gamers. The Giants have been in the comp one less season than the Suns and they've only got one. So it's keeping the core players that are going to be instrumental in the resurrection of the Giants under Adam Kingsley. Whitfield, one of those. Time breaks the boundary, keeps it in. Big bump, Perryman. It was a bump, not a tackle. And I'll still get a shot with Higgins anyway, the Saints. Getting around Filippo for the bump. To turn that over. And that was great work by Steele in the contest. If you have a look at Toby Green, just getting checked here with the shoulder, the, the collarbone. Just making sure everything's OK. Higgins. Hit three straight last week. He's normally pretty good. Drifts it a little. Sneaks it in. And the Saints are back in front. Cracking game. And again, the entries inside forward 50, which was a big issue for St Kilda last week. They're going in far too shallow and getting rebounded against. But this one, good pressure. And now hit a dart. I'm pretty sure it was going to Gresham. But um, Higgins was happy that it was going towards him in the end. Just off the side of the boot a little. But importantly, a mark inside 50 from 35. And Higgins once again converts. Lynchy, they've turned this into a kicking game, the Saints. Yep. They've had 29 for this, this quarter, only 16 handballs. GWS 22 kicks, 27 handballs. Overusing it at times. Their short handballs haven't been effective under pressure either. The Giants, maybe the slippery conditions adding to that and a couple of fumbles along the way. But that's been the change for St Kilda. Using the ball by foot, getting it inside 50 with class. Marshall got a big pour on it. Kelly tried the toe poke off the deck. Hill flicks that away. Hunter Clark. And there's some space. Battle. I'll take that if he gets away with it. No, I don't get away with it. And John, I wonder whether, because it isn't a stable surface, whether they're thinking we can't afford to overpossess because it's hard to, to get hold your feet. Riccardi got there. It's a good point though. Lynch's yep. board kicks it on and will he get away with that? If it rolls out, he will because he's got Wilkie to take it out for him. So you come in with a game plan, you get here, it's a shifting surface, there's a twos game on it, and then you have to readjust. Well, I think they have, and, and at quarter time, they maybe they have made that adjustment. But you notice on most occasions, there are players slipping. Sinclair slips it towards the wing. Kalmanidi, good hands. Couple have gone down behind play. Open space ahead. Higgins lurking. Did he get taken down without it? Butler, now his chance to go at it. Ash didn't bounce kindly for him. Peedling. Half smother. Toby Green's back on. Good signs. What a bad kick. Yeah, Himmelberg, I think in that oh, marking contest, has got a knee in the head, and as we Get can up. see there, hasn't moved. Just see, I think it was Philpo. Oh no, clash of heads behind. Yeah, he's still down on his knees. Maybe an elbow even as well in there, Lynchy. So they've already lost Haynes. Briggs. Good intercept, man. 50. Uh, well, they might. Out of the danger zone. Well, they stop this now. The, with Himmelberg down, the doctor's by his side. If it's a head injury, they normally do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, he's out of out of the play now, so he's just walking from the ground slowly. Whitfield. Anglin. Changed his mind to his detriment. Howard gets it out. 
Good going on for both clubs at the moment as well. Higgins was making his way to the bench and he's hurt his hand. Yeah, it's just see in the middle of the hands. Looks like he's been stomped on by oh, a teammate. Yeah. Oh, and a grind on it too. That hurts. Yeah, <laughs> the twist. Oof. Butler did it. Oh. The last thing he needed. High, free, Marshall, the recipient. Two-point game, hot contest. Pivotal game for both clubs. After 10 rounds last season, the Giants were in trouble. Three wins, seven losses. They'll have exactly the same record if they lose this, the Giants. Webster. Congested. King's forward got hands on it. Wood. Oh. Crouch with some room to move. Owens hasn't moved. Gresham standing under it. Almost. Owens is on the ground in that marking contest. He's still yeah, yeah. down. And hasn't, hasn't moved from... The game will stop now. Yeah, they have to stop it yeah. now. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh. Caminiti knee to the side of Owens' head. Oh, it's behind the ear. So the players will wait here and the umpires and the doctors will take as many precautions as they need, as much time as they need. So Haynes is already out of the game for the Giants. Himmelberg is getting assessed. Higgins has got a hand, and now Owens is in the hands of the doctors and trainers. Higgins looks OK. Himmelberg talking to the doctors. So we have a pause in play. Bringing the car out as well here for Mitch Owens. Ross is going to make his way downstairs. Mm. And the hush has fallen over this crowd here. Giant Stadium. Physios trainers taking all precautions. This will be a long pause here at Giant Stadium. Line heading to the bench. Okay, so he's gone okay, back to the phone. Back. Yep. There's a lot of concern for obvious reasons. from the fans here at Giant Stadium and the players of both teams. On the football side of things, it's Ben Patton who is the sub mm. for the Saints for the record. Players getting around, teammates getting around, Caminiti, purely really an accident. Yeah, he's taking a few deep breaths as well. Yep. Anthony Caminiti to... 
regain his composure, but it's it's difficult for the players in this circumstance. They have to go back to work. Yeah, it's a good point, Dwayne. You, as much as you try and get in the, get in a huddle and refocus, it's always tough when you see one of your teammates uh, in a bit of trouble. So with Himmelberg, it's a big cut inside his, his mouth that they were worried about. He did cop an elbow in the contest that he was involved in. Dry smile. And he has been cleared to come back on Himmelberg. There's been a bit, bit happening on both benches. Higgins looks like he's going to be all set to go as well. See his hand just starting to swell up a little bit after being shot on. Yes, a lot of concern. They're looking at the mechanism of the contact yep. as well. And as you mentioned, the players have to get back to work here, which must be tough. Kelly gets it away. Hogan with a fist. Steer with a collect. Marshall slung. So they had a chance, Cornelio, to get it out. The umpire cut him some slack. I think the first couple of minutes here for St Kilda, they've just got to make it a nil or draw. Get themselves back back and going, Dwayne. You're right, it is difficult after these situations to, to get moving again and, and find the rhythm and feel of the game. Perryman to O'Halloran. Heads to a two-on-two two ahead of the ball. Green with an attempt at it. Hogan stayed down. Clever idea. O'Halloran with a wobbler. Green with one paw. Put it to grass. Wangani Malera goes back, though. He's Overcooked it. He's struggling, Toby Green. Checking his shoulder again after that, that contest. He knocked around with an ankle injury, missed the last two games. Toby Green, their captain, coming back in. And quite a few on the injury list at the moment. We've still got a half and six and a half minutes to go. Ward, one of the emergencies who are out there already. So Daniels has been dangerous for the Giants. He'll be lively in this in this stoppage. Marshall with a slap down. Perryman got his hands free and didn't quite bend it around enough. He did some well to find some space. Plenty of numbers around the ball at that stoppage from both teams. He had some hamstring issues earlier this season as well, Harry Perryman, but he seems to have been able to overcome, overcome those. But this shifting turf as well has caused a few players problems. A steal has to Sinclair. Sends it wide, oh, Butler there, half hill, fully hill. Peeling didn't agree with the free, but they really do. Let's go and fetch his own ball. <laughs> it's unlucky there, isn't okay. he? They were out, the Saints. They had players yep. everywhere. Gone, gone. And, and the, the ball does away. that. Self service from the Butler. Go and get it yourself. <laughs> One point game. Takes off and launches it. King's in the pocket, got his hands on it. Filippo, ugly bounce, bounced over his head. It's a strange feeling in this game at the moment. Feel as if the players want to get in at half time and reassess, get their minds back on it a little. Crouch goes and gets it, feeds it out. A Halloran playing some sort of game again. He's having a good season. Hogan in a two-on-two. Two. Got a hand on it. And he gathered his own crumb on the back pedal. Battle. Webster. Gresham. Manufactured a kick. Straight to Tom Green. Toby Green. Did he get caught high on the way down? No. Kieran Rowan. One metre, one metre. He's continuing to fight the fight, Toby Green. Marshall, Crouch. 
Hill caught Cornelio. Bedford. The poke dead. pass isn't the required. Oh. Toby oh. Green told no. He turned outside. They all oh. thought he was turning inside. Sinclair picked his pocket. Oh. Steel. Dangerous handball inboard. Clark shut down. Wangani Malera with the Jets. Ross with the poise. Not a lot of choices to go to. He just put the clutch in yeah. and told him all to start working for me. Butler goes inside. Dangerous. Big fist of Briggs, but he didn't kill it. Marshall rolls it inside 50. Caminiti beaten for a by Iden. One, two works. In full flow. Iden goes to half forward to Green. Shoulder looks good all of a sudden. On the back pedal, he pokes it to the pocket. Hogan, kickable by his standards. Riccardi and Ward both going into the same space there. For the Giants. Pretty accurate kick. Yeah, he's a great set shot. He's a great set shot. Three straight last week. I think he made the right decision just to pause on this, take the time, and have a crack. Old school traditional drop hunt to the near side. 1-1 one, one for Jesse. Three and a half minutes to half time, and both teams can reassess, work their way through who's fit, who's not. Stocker. Webster. Made Burns work for it. That was close. Crowd didn't agree. Stocker again. Heads inside. Fortune might favour the Brave. Wanganin Malera down the spine. Hunter Clark on the move. Hill. 50 out. King. Remember the chest grab. Gresham got his hands free. Hyden. Turns it over. Gresham outside of the boot. Goal square. Callahan. Yeah, that's the best nine. ever. Great coverage from Callahan. Yeah. Playing on the wing, getting back, support defence. Right back to the goal square. Strong intercept mark. Yeah. It's a two on three. Big fist of Webster. Slapped it away from Riccardi. Butler. Marshall opens it up. Not a bad spot for the kick. Uh, and the mark being paid to yeah. Fleeton. Whitfield, Callahan, straight down the staples. He's got Hogan free. How good was that kick? He just kicked it to where he wanted Hogan to run to. Toby Green, all oh, Bedford will do. Sinclair got back. Toby Bedford, nice feed. Oh, couldn't collect it though. Almost the knee to the head. Got lucky. Punching the ground in disappointment. He's got there. Still got to go and finish his work. Talked about how important. So Doug Nichols' round was to him this week. His dad's from Halls Creek and Fitzroy Crossing. New club. You know, Tim Torado's old number 14. And his new team, Toby Bedford. It's been a great pickup. Had a hamstring pre-season after winning the 2K time trial. It set him back a little. Let's go number four. And he nails it. And the Giants are back in front. It was all about Finn Callahan in that passage of play. He was sensational. The intercept mark deep. And then the ability to work through and get the ball to Hogan in a really central position. And then they were able to go inside 50 and start fighting. Bedford fumbled, but in the end, Wins the free kick. I thought it was great by Sinclair. He's had a fantastic first half for the Saints. Not to give away the initial free kick, going back with the flight, get his eye on the ball. He's pretty pumped. Pulled the jumper designed by Leanne Hutter, the Giants Indigenous jumper in country and connection. Nice moment. Good game. Big black cloud hanging over it. We'll keep you in touch with all of that during the course of the afternoon. But 
It's a one-kick game. Cornelio had it lost at steal. Stole it and found King on the march. Butler gets it, shrugs, heads toward goal, and the instant reply. Scores level again. Set abouts again for the Saints. 6 3, they lead in this quarter. And it's a quick response, you're right. Max King will be disappointed he didn't clean this one up. But then Butler was able to follow up front and square. You can see him working to the front now. Gets in front of Ash. Breaks the tackle. Had options out to the left. But in the end, once that tackle was released, kicks the goal. Simple but effective by the Saints. I need to tell you, big 45 seconds coming up here to half time. 51 apiece, slammed into the deck. Briggs, Marshall against him. Crouch went with the toe. Cornelio, as the seconds tick, couldn't get anywhere near it. He was hassled away, but he gets the clearance, bounces it toward Toby Green. Ugly bounce for him, nice bounce for battle. Brilliant smother by Green. Ward. Battle. More slipping. Gresham lends a hand. Stocker. Steele. Back towards the wing. Hunter Clark goes with the fist. Ball in. Time enough for something crazy to finish the half with 10 seconds left on the clock. It's about right, though, for. Both teams going in level. It's been an even game of footy, both having to deal with some pretty severe injuries. Briggs knocks it down. Little toe poke off the deck. Crouch, manhandled out of it. Whitfield got it from Green. Siren sounds. It's been an amazing half of football. It's been a lot happening, critical. Game for both clubs, Saints, their spot in the top eight, vulnerable next week if they lose this. They win today, they'll be seven and three, the same as they were this time last year, the Saints, but they've gone their last five, loss, win, loss, win, loss, their past five. This is critical for both teams as we head back downstairs. Thanks Dallas to Lynch. Thanks, Dwayne. Mason, a tough contest, how are you reading this one? Yeah, it's been pretty end-to-end. -end. Um, a lot of transition running, a lot of space, so set up for a pretty good game to finish the second half. But, um, yeah, if we, if we get our stuff around the stoppage right, I think we'll, we'll be really good going in the second half. What was the message at quarter time? Look like you started to kick the ball a little bit more? Yeah, just, just get back to what we've been doing really well, going a bit more direct and, um, you know, trying to surge the ball a little bit. So, yeah, just basic stuff. Always a concern when you have a teammate go down like Mitch. How are the boys and what was said in that group? I actually came off then, so I'm not exactly sure what was said, but it'll be something along the lines of boys have got to stay, stick fat and, you know, we'll, we'll sort, we'll see how Mitch is after the game, but, yeah, it's obviously you don't love seeing that. And and just one quick one, on the surface, seems to be pretty slippery. No, oh, there's a few slippery bits, but that's footy, mate. Oh, it's pretty good compared to you would have played in the past, so we'll get on with it. <laughs> All right, thanks for your time. Good point. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha, downstairs, just reminiscing from his old Fitzroy days when he would have been slipping and a sliding. The scores tell you more than a thousand words can. It's a tight, hard, close contest to half time and a massive half to the cup. Don't go anywhere. Back in the middle. Giants desperate for a victory to stay in touch with the top eight. Saints likewise for the top four. Briggs has been good in the ruck against Marshall. Marshall trying to thread the handball out. Scoots its way with a wobbler towards King, who was lurking towards it and then got an unkind bounce. Scoop up was delightful from Whitfield against the grain. Half a jumper hold, thumb clear, Angwin. Howard works his way around a couple of them. Slipped a couple of tackles. Heads toward King, got rid of his man, gathers the Sharon, and then didn't get enough boot on it. Although, <laughs> took a little spiral. He could have rushed that through, Callahan. That was strange that he decided to retrieve it. But scores are level. Everything counts. He heads long. Howard got there. Filippo, quick fire handoff. Cornelio, an outstanding first half.
Sinclair, spectacular trap. Even better first half by Sinclair. Wow. He's best on the ground for the Sainers. Oh, Burns, and that's the slipping deck we've talked about a bit here. And Burns on the back pedal thinks that that was on the full. He'll having a chat about the turf. We talked about it a bit. The show was on here. And a pre-game contest as well. Iden. Was that a push in the back? It was. It was. I thought Mason Woods' assessment of it, Lynchy, though, to you at half time was spot on. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> this is like a, a bowls green compared to what we had in, especially Dwayne back in 89 in that rolled mud at the MCG. But, yeah, no, it's, uh, it is slippery for modern modern conditions. Yeah, Moorabbin, I suppose, for Saints fans, they all remember what it was like at Moorabbin on a good day. Little floater. Caminiti does well. Flicks it off. Gresham. Central ball, thumped away from Higgins, and we'll get a ball in. So we've had an update on Mitch Owens, Jono, from what we understand. Yeah, he's, he's okay, all, all considering, all right, of course, a little bit emotional down in the rooms, um, especially at halftime with everyone coming back in, but um, we may see him back on the bench at some point. Yeah, he's on the bench now, actually, nice. and lucid and, and feeling, you know, in context, feeling well oh, enough, so he's out there and... Um, the medical staff were, you know, gave him the thumbs up, basically, so obviously he won't play any of the game, but um, he's well. Yeah, great to have your company if you're joining us for the first time. So Himmelberg out for the game, Haynes out for the game, Mitch Owens out for the game, all injured. A couple of concussions, Mitch Owens' concussion, the worst of them, but some good news there after a lot of worried people here at Giant Stadium. Wood, it's been tight from the outset. Play on. Play on. Battle. Yeah. It's a pretty good spot with the kick. Higgins. Burns. Peatling. Little slip from Tom Greenker enough to get it up to Briggs, who blasts it away. Wangani Malira waited. Battle went and got it. The handball was on, but he couldn't quite retrieve the Sharon. Daniels does. Hogan. Yeah. Needs to be a good kick. Cabman gets his chance. Oh. Big grab. Aaron Cabman. Great grab. One on two situation down there. I thought Jesse Hogan was going optimis opt optimistically quickly to a one on two. But uh, obviously he spent enough time with this young man to know he's got the class to, on the back of a good kick, jump and take a clean grab. That's a really good mark. Huge grab. Hasn't had a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities in his six games so far. They traded up to get him, pick one. He's done that a couple of yeah, times. Has. That's 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 severe miss. Severe. So that's all in the, in the drop five. of the ball. Yeah. Just dropping towards his right-hand side and um, just spraying it across. There's Mitch Owens, as we heard from the medical staff. He's, he's well and alert and, uh, yeah, happy to... Sit out there on the bench and, and watch his team in the second well, half, but obviously won't be playing anymore this this week. Now, given that he was taken off from the mobile stretcher, that is great to see that he's able to sit on the bench and take in the second half of this game with us. Iden with the fly. Wood had him half wrapped. Whitfield fully wrapped in the steel trap. Marshall, Briggs, Holding, held, up. held before he grabbed it, steals ball, and now claiming that he probably should have been handed a 50, and still with that strapping on the knee that's giving him problems, Marshall with a fist, Callahan, Whitfield, Peedling, bumps it along the wing, the risers go up, scooted to the back to Bedford, but he couldn't make something of it. Saints won their first four games this season. They've since lost three of their last five. And that man gave them a mulligan last week, Ross Lyon. You can't have two mulligans in a row. Back into play, Briggs, Marshall. Filippo gains 30. King, three goals so far this afternoon. Tom Green. Cornelio to a one-on-one -on -one. edge out was spectacular from Wilkie and Hogan. 
They're pushing back hard now, St Kilda, getting the extra man across their half-back line. So if that hit the ground, that contest, it was going to two Saints players at ground level. Pat and the sub. To Ross inside, Wanganee Malira. Delayed the hand off and he split the middle with the kick. Had a tough for Webster, who was clever enough to go back and get it. Mesmerised them, went inside, Wanganee Malira. All part of the grand plan, if he can hit the target. Caminiti. Iden right with him. Caminiti kept his eye on the ball. Iden kept his eye on him. Crowd screaming for ball. Ash went and got ball. Wow. Wanganee Malira went up. Cabman got there from three deep. Lays a tackle. Howard. Wanganee Malira. And now Ross to the hot spot. Early rise from Wood. Couldn't collect it. And a behind sees them in front. Lockie Whitfield looking to go quick. Got to get some play on here, some overlap if they can. Dash to Callahan. Yeah, the Saints have done well there. Give up the first couple, but then they've set up the ground well. Told to go, and he does like biting off the difficult kick. Heads to a two on two, and Wilkie read that to perfection. He wiped the hands from Burns before he went and got it. Gresham ran to a roadblock, got the handball back to Krauts though. Me. Slips it wide, he's got Higgins, got it just inside the line. They need reward for effort here. This is 8 1 inside 50s for this third term. This is a, a tough shot from this far out. They're not deep pockets, so there's plenty of uh, daylight between the, the posts here, but uh, yeah, dominating possession, dominating forward 50. Just got to hit the scoreboard now. Well, he's kicked two straight today and he's had an outstanding season in front of goal he's kicked 21 goals six called him missy higgins a couple of years ago when he missed a few but he's been spot on most of this season that was a tough shot slap through for a behind whitfield entrusted with the kick in it felt like from the outset every possession in this game has been huge Little possessions like that to Buckley. Back to Whitfield. Howard. Oh, out muscled. Cabin in game six. Steel. Just a half step. Now told to go to a two on two. Cabin, he's down there. Got a hand on it. Buckley. With a look away. Didn't quite work to Whitfield from Peatling. So often we see in these situations, 9-1 forward 50s, that the other team, GWS in this situation, move the ball and, and score. And just take all that confidence away from St Kilda. They've got to keep it up here and capitalise. Caminiti, Briggs got there, bounced off his chest. Ward, the sub for the Giants, the Peedling. Little nudge out from battle. And Riccardi was OK. Stocker got it from Burns. Gave it to Marshall. Spectacular um, use. Filippo, Hill, Butler. Yeah. Had a good afternoon at the office so far. You're right, Lynch. They have to kick this one now. The Saints. Butler has to go back and absolutely nail it. The pressure's been good. The repeat entries have been solid. And they put enough pressure on the Giants exiting their D50 to get some good looks. And that was an excellent look. Marshall's kick back inside the corridor was excellent. That set this up. The wind's pretty much dropped. Very blustery in that first quarter. No wind to speak of out there at the moment. He's kicked two straight. It's a 64% goal kicker career. Kept it low and kept it wide. Lockie Ash. Coming off a 32 position game last week, has had a fair bit of it again. Through the hands oh, and the block. Some cool to ball. Dan. Toby Green pleads Dan. his case. Dan. Battle. Play on. Play on. on that battle, and about to send it forward for the Saints again. He goes wide. It's a two on two. King half held. Couldn't collect it. Angwin. Oh. Gets it back. The old one two. Goes inside. Made a Tom Green's problem. Wood 
Butler. Again, the turnover from the turnover. Whitfield. Thread the handball through the eye of the needle. Phenomenal. Cornelio looks up. He's got options of plenty. Green. He took the step. He went. Had to go in the end. Hogan collects it off the bounce. Spins it around the body. Magnificent. John, it was always going to happen, wasn't it? Just St Kilda, just so much dominance, but just couldn't get a, a decent shot at goal or miss their opportunities. And then for the first time, so 11-2 inside 50s, finally a bit of space. Now we see here Toby just stepped, he, he was playing on, he was having a bob each way realistically. And this is really good finish from Jesse Hogan. The half chance they were ca able to capitalise on, St Kilda had some lay down Mazares and they missed them. Both sides, pushing in, please. Well, one player moved the ball in the well in this whole square, passage of play. That was Jesse Hogan's shot at goal. <laughs> Everything else was messy in the lead-up. They had a couple of good disposals through the corridor there, though, the Giants, to set that one up. But both teams were messy on the half-forward line for the Saints. And in the end, they were able to break through the Giants. And once again, it was that transition off half-back. Both teams have been able to score when breaking through off half-back tonight. New plan. Messi to Jesse, so they can do it again. Ward gets it out of the middle. And he pumps it to that two on two. Play on. Battle. In out. Stocker. Yeah, the look away didn't quite work. And Hogan nearly trapped it again. O'Halloran. He does break free. Gets it on the boot. Cadman's got a chance to rise. Two against him. Toby Green, rare fumble. Rakes it in. Gets it back. Flips it up to Cadman. Oh. And he makes it his moment. How good. He's had a couple of shots from 30 out on a slight angle and, and hasn't been able to kick it truly, but that was a great snap. And again, build up of pressure to hold the ball inside the forward 50, and that's a good contest to start with from Cadman, to get the ball to ground. Toby Green, his second, third effort, and just a nicely weighted handball out in front of his young, potentially uh, star forward. And a nice finish on the left, great work. Pretty sharp here from Cadman, isn't it? Yeah, great finish. The weighted handball from Toby Green, just the awareness not to try to do too much himself, but just put the handball out, out in front of Cadman. Played that full game against Collingwood last week at the MCG after being subbed out the two games prior to that. And looked disappointed to be not out there in the critical stages of the two games prior to that when he was subbed out. Playing a role here, as is Cornelio. Straight down the staples. Battle. Stocker. Hunted down by Riccardi. Pressure on the kick. Cornelio put his heart and soul into trying to stop it. On the rebound, the bullet. Straight to Wanganin Malira. Well, St Kilda have got to re uh, respond now. They've dominated all by 90 seconds of this third term. And just haven't been able to get it on the scoreboard conceded uh, two goals straight to three points. Wood towards Hunter Clark. Crouch. Ash. Wood. Great experience to bring on as the start, but he's missed the target. Burns. Rolled in the pocket. Gresham. Big ball to win. Jada Gresham. How hard did he go at that? And he had to be clean as well. And a slippery ball. It's hard to keep your feet on this deck today. And he did everything really well there, Jay Gresham. He was skidding through with a bit of speed. He has pressure behind as well and from the side. That's an excellent finish. You should be happy with that one. Good response here by the Saints. Dangerous spot to turn the ball over from Cal Ward on that occasion. Turnover at centre half back. In the goal square, please. Scrappy entry, but it's some daylight between himself, Jay Gresham, and the goal square. Almost the two third rucks in the middle now. Riccardi and Caminiti to go at it. Haven't sent Himmelberg in there, the Giants, so far. Ward, Cornelio, Whitfield, Kelly. Webster did well, kept it in front. 
Wilkie to a two on two. Caminiti. Awesome. The kid's good. Heads long. Now King gets his chance. Got one paw on it. Wood scoops it up. Higgins put her in the book. And the Saints are back in front. Well, Lynchy, that Caminiti mark is so good. And that's what set up this whole passage here for the Sainers. Clean in this situation here. He wanted to go. He knew Crouch was out. Made the right decision in the end. And all King had to do here was compete. That's right. And I think it's, it's understated or, or the expectations around the role of the key forward. But what you said right there, what Max King did was perfect. Made a contest, didn't get out marked, didn't give a free kick away. Predictable drop zone where his class uh, small forwards and mid-sized forwards were there to pick it up. Really good finish. Well, he's got 22 for the year now, Jack Higgins. He's bring together a nice season. Gee, they're starting to assemble a classy young forward line. Yeah, they are. Mm. No memory this afternoon for them, obviously. And this guy, 19 years of age, Caminiti, he dragged it in. Pinning here, but see, he, he couldn't, he couldn't turn. He actually jumped off the ball. Stand, stand. My arm. Kelly. Hogan's down there. Ball scoots to the back and battle. Well read. Settled things down. The Saints. Last two goals of the game to take the lead back. Early wow. flyers go up. Whitfield. Hunter Clark. Both teams coming off their worst losses of the season last week. Giants by 65 to Collingwood. Saints by 52 to Adelaide. Both looking for the bounce back win to get their season back on track. Toby Green. And good in his return game until then. Blind kick, battle. Read it to perfection. Sinclair. So he made that impossible for Burns. Shoulder issues for Toby Green this afternoon after coming back in from missing two weeks with an ankle. Marshall ripped it out of the air with one hand. Ward picked his pocket. And cut off Mark for Stocker. Wilkie heads out wide. Patton and both their summer pickups have been spectacular again today. Stocker and Caminiti for the Saints. On, on. Had their own injuries play to on. overcome. Patton, who's played every game, but has come on as the sub in this one. Good luck from Perryman. Kelly wants to go to Ash. Put in the hands of one of their better ball users. Daniels. Back to Ash. And he was dumped. So downfield, Toby Green. Will he be within range here? Yeah, accidental head contact then. I think he, when he was kicking... He, he's slipped and, and has fallen yeah. down, yeah. and then Jack Steele, yeah. who we know he's a hard player, but not a nasty player at all, accidentally got him high. Mm. It on. See what the superstar can manufacture here, Toby Green. Sits it up, top of the square. Hogan's down there. Marshall put it to grass. Didn't control it. Sinclair can roll it through cleverly. He was clever there, Sinclair. Did Marshall have enough of that? Is what the uh, Saints fans will be asking. But they get away with it. They're able to keep possession now. Wangani Malira. Stocker. You're right about Stocker, Dwayne. He's looked, he's looked really sharp this afternoon or this evening. Yeah, it's been a very astute pick-up. Stephen Silvani's recruited him twice. He has. He has. wants to sink yes. him. <laughs> That's how much he liked him. He's had 16 today. He's looked good. Was Sauce the list manager at the Giants when they drafted him? I'm not sure. I think he was there too, okay. wasn't he? So back to go forward. Howard. The switch on the switch on the switch might work 
for the Saints. Hill delayed the handoff nicely. Wanganee Malera with some room to roam. Caminiti arm chop. When he has Saints fans in the house, back to Hill, hits the spot through the hands of Filippo. Fleeton, Angwin, Iden got under that a little. Kelly's got a couple of beats. Steel with him. Outstanding. Told to go. Is he within range? He lines them up and across the face, Caminiti. A sneaky chance. It's a good sport by Buckley. Caminiti starting to come into his own with the lack of height they've got in defence at the moment with both Haynes and Himmelberg off the ground, the Giants. So he presents as a potential match winner. And just game seven, the Cinderella story he is becoming. It's Perryman, thumps it along. Marshall, he mesmerised them all. Hunter Clark, chip kick. Wood. Sinclair lets it fly. Oh, yeah. The mullet in full flow. And so are the Saints. Now they've certainly uh, tidied things up in the forward half, John. Good, good pressure, hitting targets, and making the most of their, op their opportunities here. This is the ability to turn the ball over. Bit of composure, put his teammate into space, and nicely weighted kick out in front to Mason Wood. And he had the awareness to see that Sinclair was running into space, and that's a class finish. And I must apologise, I gave Liam Stocker an extra club. He didn't <laughs> play at the Giants, but uh, that is a very good finish. That's 50th goal of Jack Sinclair's career as well, 151 games. And there has been quite a few injuries from this game. If you join us late, Mitch Owen's out for the game. We have concussion issues. Nick Haynes, likewise. And Himmelberg's been out for the longest period. Big four minutes coming up to three-quarter time. Marshall's lifted his right to Sinclair, to Hill. They've kicked the last three goals of the game, the Saints. First time today, they've kicked three in a row. Higgins... Good pluck from Tom Green. Play on. Play on. Love to get one, the Giants, but after conceding three in a row, having a little bit of breathing space, certainly won't be wanting to concede another. With four minutes to go until the last change. Whitfield. Back to Iden. To the wing. Early leap from McCarty was nice. First time he's had a chance to run and fly at it to Hogan. Bumped a little by battle, but all legal in the process, and the ball scoots to the back. Yeah, just too much on the kick. The space was there. Hogan had set it up really well, where he pushed back hard and created the space in front. He just got under the ball, and there was nothing in that from Josh Battle. The tools for the Saints have been excellent in this quarter, in particular Battle and Wilkie. Hogan got a hand on it. Hunter Clark, the flick on Kelly. From the stand start, didn't get enough on it. Cabman in the square, saw it flicked away and in a bad spot for a ball Take in for the there, Giants to make up, something of this 4A Hold forward. Margin's been about two goals from the outset. Both teams have had two goal leads. Bump from Hogan, Marshall held his ground, gets it back and spanks it away with a tool. Got the barrel in the Caminiti direction. Big ball to win. Higgins wins it. Gresham little fumble, but it works. Sinclair off and flying. Patton has to go and retrieve it. Gets it back. Little flick back from Butler. Didn't quite work. Kelly. Buckley. Turnover. Crouch. Arms free. Sinclair through the traffic to Patton. Filippo stayed down, Caminiti went and got it. Second effort was fantastic. To Wangani Malira, to King! Who has three goals to his name so far, and he could be the difference maker. And Wanganine Wang Malira, that's his tenth touch for the quarter. He's going at 100% by foot as well. He's had eight kicks, just really setting up out there on the wing very well, and that is a nice finish. 
for goal number four for Max King. It's across the face, but it's markable. Marshall went up. Caminiti the crumb. Higgins, Caminiti. Caught by Buckley. Briggs and Caminiti. Briggs worked him off it. Tom Green floats it away. Well read by Howard. Well, the umpire almost could have marked that himself. Marshall worked his way around the umpire and took it and sends it. Puts play on to the mark. Won't stand. Caminiti got hands on it. Slapped toward the boundary and they'll take that to Giants. Three key defenders for the Saints have taken 11 marks between them in this quarter. It's been an excellent result to stopping what GWS are trying to do going forward. And a lot of it's been on pressured kick too, so high balls, one-on-one -on -one contests. They set up well behind the ball. Howard's the spare at the moment. Briggs in game one for the season, double handed hat down and throw don't see again. the recall throw in very often. No. Caminiti. Briggs slaps this one down again. Burns. Gresham. Kick half smothered. Ward. One minute sign up on the bench, so we knew he had to get it away from the danger zone. Howard. Toby Green, the spin was delightful. On the lazy Susan. Puts it out in front of the nine eye flyer. He goes for goal, Daniels. That's a ripper. Great finish, great finish into space. But once again, the weighted Toby Green handball. Not just the blaze away, so the good pressure here. Toby gets involved, ducks around one. Now it just puts the weighted handball out in front. So Daniel gets to run, doesn't break stride. And then we know at high pace, he can still execute uh, a long straight kick. Great work from Toby Green. Look at this weighted handball, just out in front. There you go. Yeah, excellent play off the back of a poor handball from Howard, which Toby Green cleaned up, and that's how quickly the Giants can score. You make a mistake at this level, you pay the ultimate price. Big 40 seconds coming up to three-quarter time. Tom Green gets the clearance. They can threaten to take the lead back here, the Giants. Flick from Riccardi, he missed the ball. Hunter Clark, he gave it away. Ground ball, Stocker, on it, they're on him. My ball. Big pack around it. Marshall, the main man down there to Sinclair. The Wangani Malira, who hands it back to Sinclair. Didn't get much depth on the kick, though. Daniels working hard. Hill. The lift door's closed on him quickly. One more opportunity. Has to be a sweet play here. Is it Toby Green right on the siren? Oh, Daniels has been good. And they've dominated. Can they do? What can they do well? here? Riccardi, yeah. Marshall drops it at his feet. Through the legs of Crouch. Ward hands it up. The siren sounds. Perriman got a kick away, but it wouldn't have counted. It was after the buzzer. And it all comes down to this. There's a kick in it. A quarter to play. The last game of round 10. Great to have your company from Giant Stadium. 70. Play 73. Saints in front. An effort in the air. On the, then back onto the ground. Toby Green was important in that as well. Giants have won a couple of close ones this season. Saints have lost a couple of close ones. Saints lost by six to Collingwood. Lost by seven to Port Adelaide. Giants... The most recent tight one, that one point thriller against the Swans up the road at the SCG. Also beat Hawthorne by a couple of points in a tight one. And Max King's return has seen three goals so far. Final term underway. Kelly, Empire City was caught high. So the early clearance for the Giants. 
pumps it. Hogan stalking it, and two were there. And he was outmarked by his own man, Kieran Briggs, whose return game been thrown to the ruck. First game for the season has been pretty good. Flynn's been rested. He's been rucking the rest of the year. Huge moment for Kieran Briggs. Yeah, well done from Briggs. Get forward. And also by Hogan not to crash into the back of his teammate. So Hogan had the crosshairs on the ball <laughs> and then just the last second realised his teammate's in a better position. Local from Pennant Hills. First game of the season, but not his first goal of the season. He blows his line there. Just the way this game's going, it'll be this last quarter will be all about moments. <laughs> You'll get a couple of chances. You can't give too many away to the opposition because it's proven all day they'll get the ball down the other end and quickly convert. Wagon and Malera didn't get much on the kick, or not as much as he would have liked. Hill trapped it, was trapped. Tom Green jumps in. It's in there somewhere. Rolls out to Sinclair. A floater. In fact, he's got a bit on it. It's sailing a bit and well read by Fleeton. Huge mark in game two. And he gets a 50-meter penalty. Young guns at both ends for the Giants. Fleeton come in as a third-year player playing in game two. And that was solid. Green gets up. Can't take the mark. Briggs again. Oh. Stalks it. Oh. Gets it. Goals it. Massive moment. Too easy, the set shot. The uh, six foot seven, 110 kilo crumbing forward now. That is a, that's a really handy reply. That intercept mark down back. And then this one here, that, that is really good. And then from defensive 50 to rebound. Get the ball. On the back of the the 50 metre penalty, where Higgins just stepped over, the, or Gresham just stepped over the line. Good contest, <laughs> the big man. Yeah, you're right. Had to be a good contest. Green at the front, Jesse Hogan from the side just had to get the ball to ground with Marshall positioning himself nicely for an intercept mark. And his direct opponent waiting at the feet. Well done by Karen Briggs. Back into the middle against Marshall, and they let him know about it as well. Rowan Marshall, they tie up. Sinclair scrambles it away. Fleeton, a couple of huge moments to start this last quarter. Heads out wide. Patton muscled his way to it, got away from Bedford. The up play short. Crouch. Ben. Every possession. Becoming more and more valuable the more the seconds tick down. Caminiti edged out. King! Too strong! He's just got too much uh, too much craft at the moment in the way he wants to yeah. position himself for that for that marking contest. Buckley's doing everything he possibly can. He's undersized. And he's trying to be as physical as he possibly can to make it difficult for King. You can just see there, just enough to get that separation. The big frame in front just doesn't have the height to create the spoil. For goal number four, and more importantly, for the lead back. And the return of the King has lived up to the billing. His touch has been really good, and yeah, certainly a little undersized down back GWS, but your first game back, to have that touch, just trying to push off. Not bad work from Buckley, really, but that's a, a bigger forward with a a greater reach and that's good hands good touch fourth quarter your first game back for the season and importantly converted he's been impressive in this game throughout the night in the seesawing game more than a dozen lead changes still a kick in it been a war of attrition as well. Himmelberg out for the game. Haynes out for the game for the Giants. Owens out for the game for the Saints. A number of other injuries as well. Players fighting on and Wood fights on to get this to Marshall. Gets under that a little, but it might work to their favour if, well, no one got there for the mark attempt. Slap forward. King again for number five. It floats. Butler's under it. Slap through by Iden. 
He just went through a list of those injuries, Dwayne. Just wonder whether, with lack of rotations for GWS, just with their one down, whether that'll take its toll late in the game. Ash. Howard went with the fist. Big ball to win. Marshall, Steele, both went down low. St Kilda ball. If Higgins doesn't play on to advantage. Steele. And he goes. Here's the square. Caminiti. Front spot. Off hands. But I thought he was about to pounce. Tom Green. Caminiti. Sinclair. Been huge value. And sneaks at home. And they lead by nine. Well, he has been huge, Sinclair. 33 disposals and a couple of goals now for the Sainers. And more time in the middle, more time in centre bounce. Controls from centre back when he does play that midfield role. And then at the right time, pushes forward, stays involved. Excellent finish. Again... Hoping he'd had enough on it on the kick, and he did. Thirty-three possession game. And there's the tail of the day. Yeah, next best for the Saints is Wanganeen Miller at twenty-four. So that's the dominance of Sinclair today. Twenty-two kicks at eighty-two percent. Over to you, Giants. What do you got left? Marshall with a slap down. Steele's been massive. The Burns goes back to go forward. Still mops up the mess. Webster gang tackled. <laughs> Holding the ball. Steele back pedals. It's a bull or two. He's got the share. It's all that matters to Sinclair. Webster. And poised now, but there's still an eternity left. That's Sinclair's fifth touch already in this term. Stand. Stalker. Play on. Play on. The half step told to go. Dangerous but precise. Wilkie. <laughs> Caught Hogan napping. Ward. Takes it to the line. Briggs and Marshall. Briggs muscles his way to it, but hands it over. Hunter Clark. Ash gets it. They come at him. Perryman. I was out in front of Green. Left is probably relieved about that. This is for the record. The biggest lead the Saints have had for the game. Giants led by two goals earlier in the contest. Marshall slaps it down. Sinclair. And now Hunter Clark rolled in that tackle attempt. Still in there somewhere. Holding the ball. The little things becoming bigger things. And the play on quickly. Chip kick. Stand. Kelly. Marsh, you see Marshall getting back in the hole for the Saints. Sits it up long for the Flyers to go up. Hogan doesn't fly. Howard does with a fist and battle. Waiting back as the goalkeeper. Caminiti! Just put it down last second. Did a lot right. And holding it in. Did a lot right, perhaps. Holding the ball. Wow. <laughs> this is a wow. The little things. Really? The little things. Tom Green now. Completely flooded back here, the Saints. They have to watch the short one, though, because everyone's expecting this to go long. They've got all their tools and numbers back. Can't give up the one at 45, 40, 45 metres out from goal. Canelio sends it to the top of the square. Big pack. Wilkie waits down. There's a robot <laughs> waiting for him. <laughs> well, I suppose when you're nine points up, you can concede one. <laughs> Accidental, but if you can fake sincerity, you've got to play it in this world. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure that wasn't deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> Battle sure. At five five. Howard. Stand. Stalker. Open space. Iden. Beware Iden on the march. He gets the handball inside. Daniels, he mesmerised them all. And then he blazes away across the face. Seven points. Heads wide. Almost a free. It was a free. He got slapped to the ear. I thought the umpire was going to play it initially, but. And look there, Patton heads wide. Filippo, good grab. Does he want to go? Now he goes. Free kick the king. Opens it up. Not a bad spot. Gresham. Got beautiful touch, Filippo. King went to push off Buckley on the lead and the big jumper pull, especially with four umpires these days, they tend to get paid. It wasn't required in the end. Nicely weighted kick again. For the biggest lead the Saints have had for the game, to make it 13 points from the arc. Ash. We need you to see stuff from the outset. A hard, tough contest. It's been a war of attrition. It comes down to this 12 minutes. There's a lot of exhausted players out there on both teams. Not much movement from the Giants. It's almost an elimination final for the Giants. They dropped to three and seven. It's way off the pace. Buckley. Callahan. Mason Wood set up behind the ball here just to slow the Giants up. That's well done from Sikura. Oh, Callahan's put it down. Gets it away. Oh, oh how's the umpire going to read that? Peedling and Wood. Wood sends it long. Hits a pretty good spot with the kick. He's got King down there. Off hands, big ball to win. Higgins flicks it up. Sinclair, been amazing. Now, will they rush it here? They will. Nine points. Canelio. Down the corridor, they quick go five. quick. Tom Green. Ward, shut down by Hill. Gone. King calling for it in the pocket. It's in his direction. He's got a couple to beat. Off hands, Wood on the boundary. Filippo dropped by Anglin. Whitfield, Buckley, everything dangerous at the moment. Sinclair, he can make them pay. Yeah, again, the last three times the Giants have tried to get out. Doesn't want to take on the kick. Goes to Wangani Malira on the arc. He doesn't want to take the... Or does he? Gave the play on some thought. Didn't take a step. Can't get called to play on for thinking about it. But this is a massive kick now. Again, for the biggest margin of the game for the Saints. Or skip steps. Launches it. Gives it some air. Touched on the line, but not rushed. And is it rushed? Or is that ball? Going Pies called a point ball up. at the same time. Yeah. Don't hit it over. Oh, so is it a point? Central. And he brings it in a couple of metres. Don't hit it over is the warning. Ball knocked down. It's almost kicked through from that oh, mad yeah. scramble. And it's a 10-point margin.
Same result here. We we'll see the bottom of the screen possibly. Oh, yeah. Just pops well, over. Some of the ball went over. Oh no, he calls late when it does pop out. That's yep. what he did. Yep. Whitfield. He sends it long to the congestion. Hogan got there. Hands like a vice. Big Jesse goes inside with the kick. So the Saints have got two back. Would be in one. And battle is the other. That's right. Jesse Hogan's right up the ground. So. So battles at the end of this kick if he goes long. Plenty of bodies on the wing. Green got up there. Uh, Halloran does brilliantly. Sends it inside 50. Bedford had a sneaky chance at it. Cabman, nice rolling tackle. Yeah, good work. Outnumbered two to, two to three. So they had to just lay a strong tackle, keep it locked in. Opportunity to score now for the Giants. Green does the right work. Marshall had the body strength and the reach. Floats it away. Buckley, King. Buckley's ball, is it? And pay for the arm chop. What a battle that's been. King's got four goals. His return game. Buckley sends it back inside 50. Cadman from four deep. Steele ducks out of one. To Ross, caught by Daniels. Marshall, Hogan, Marshall a bit poor on it. Hogan almost. Canelio, Zeke when he should have zagged, they caught him. Saints were fifth after ten rounds last season. Seven wins, three losses. Win today, they'll be seven and three, same as this time last year. Cornelio in the hands of trainers, as so many players have been this afternoon. Fighting through it. Marshall into that congestion. Callahan. Toby Green. That's what it means for the Saints. That's the live ladder. If they get the four points, different story if they don't. Now, free kicks and kill to here. Going to Marshall. Little thanks. It was little, that's for sure. Wangan Emilera can go if he wants to. He gives us some thought. So he's heads toward the wing. Just a, there's nothing there. Webster is out. Nothing forward. Back to Hill. Show some poise. Battle. Show some poise. Stalker. Told to go. The pass said he took a step. Mason Wood. Sits it up long. He's got in the hole. Hunter Clark found space where there wasn't a lot. Well assessed by Mason Wood. He had two options that were leading out into space, but identified a spare teammate in Clark on the end of a 50-metre kick, so a very penetrating kick to get there in time. Seven minutes and change left. Oh, 11 man. points. Well, Green's getting some treatment on the ground. He pops up, little tap on the side of the arm. That is not a free kick against, I'm sorry. It's a bizarre thing that happened this round. The whole year there has been, Dwayne. But is that where we, we go to the fines? We're subject for another moment, but... Um, that is. Let's get to the end of this game. It's going to end up being a classic. Let's not worry about that at the moment. But it's those little things that can destroy the outcome of the game. Bedford heads long to a two-on-two. Two. Green's down there. McCarty's down there. Steele. No room to move. Whitfield got up and plucked it. Still a ton of time left. Cornelio, who's been epic. Hits a good spot with a kick. Hogan, one, two. Great grab. Under pressure. St Kilda plays. Extra two defenders back as well but he, great presence to lead hard at the ball and with that second grab, bring it in. This is the big moment. This keeps him well and truly in the game. 
be energy sapping for the whole club if they miss. Oh, Halloran did well there to pull his hands away. He was tempted to go for it. A mixed bag here for Jesse Hogan. This one will be hoping to go straight through the middle. To make it a one-kick game from directly out. And he blows his line. Still an eternity left if you're a Saint fan. 5.50. Wilkie gets it from Wangani Malira. Yeah, John's happy to concede that short one. Marshall edged out. Good mark to Briggs. Sits it up again. Can Jesse get the run? He does from four deep. Couldn't mark it though. Wilkie crumbs it. Huge scrambling kick. Hunter Clark. Wood gets it. Fake to go outside. Went inside. Fooled them all. Heads toward Butler. Big collision. Sinclair being epic. Little knock on. Filippo. There's a Buckley collision in the middle of the ground. Ash takes off, gets away from Wood, hands it inside to Kelly. Time is of the essence now, and the Giants know it. Riccardi back into the lineup this week. Fifth game of the season. Saints defending the corridor really well. Has to go long down the line. Pulls the kick a little shorter. Briggs again. Big last quarter. Yeah, really. Hands it off to Toby Green. If anyone can beat you, Toby can. Hogan got hands on it. Wayne Malira burns. Fumble. Battle. Boundary line looming. Out of trouble. If they can find a target, they can. Well Howard. That's well done by the Saints. Good composure in a stressful situation. It was a good one-on-one -on -one contest mm. at full back. Wood got there, made the contest. Kelly. Herman tried to squeeze the handball inside. Hill tried to keep it rolling. Crouch, caught, shut down. Put it to grass. Been edge of the seat stuff. Almost all of the game. Players are going down left, right and centre. In a war of attrition. Daniels has been superb. Hill takes it to the line. Contempt with that. Giants need two goals. They did it against the Swans a couple of weeks ago at the SCG. They're still one that many thought was beyond their grasp. Briggs, double-handed slap down. One coach looking to attack and get the attacking structure right, and one making sure all defensive elements are in play in this last three and a half minutes. On their first four games this season, the Saints, but lost three of their last five. Ward looked inside, looked outside, hit the pause button, sends it long. Cadman got up there. Good fist, kills it to the line. Hanging in there, the Giants, giving themselves every chance. On the flip side, the Saints hanging tough in defence. Marshall, Hogan does the right work. Marshall muscles him away. It bounces on its end, and they should get away with that. Although, they don't get away with it. Don't get away with much these days, no, when they're no. concerned. Whitfield about to hit the hot spot. Pulls it short-ish. Big fist go. Killed to the boundary, and we're down to three minutes. It's just a little skinny, isn't it? Allows the defenders yeah. to spoil over the line rather than the spoil actually keeping it alive for the smalls to go to work and maybe they manufacture something because they've got some beautiful smalls down there with Green and Daniels having good games. O'Halloran. Toby Green couldn't quite get there to trap it. Ward is trapped. And in that situation, John O the composure of the ball carrier to, to pick off the short pass to get into 40 metres rather than just bombing long all the time at the top of the square. From the flick down. 
Perryman, Callahan. Touch play on, as you heard. He hasn't had much go his way tonight, Toby Green. Got a couple of decisions that have been 50 50. He doesn't get many of them. It's been good from the Saints. They've taken three minutes off the clock and not allowed the Giants to break out of any close encounters. From the scoop, Callahan slipped away. 2.28 left. See the time in forward half the last 10 minutes, 82% to 18. Briggs, Marshall, huge ball to win. Marshall wins it. Tom Green trapped it eventually. Whitfield goes back to go forward. To Iden, to Buckley. Bites off the tough kick inside, but it's the fortune favouring the Brave. Handball inside is pretty good. Knock on Ash. Perriman shut down. Brilliant from Butler. Two minutes, and he goes back. Wood. Dan. Good hands from Webster there. Meters. He was Fred, under some heat Fred, in his return Fred, game. Fred, back to meters. Third game of the year for Fred, Jimmy. Meters. And 50. I think the umpire was saying Brent back two metres. It wasn't like Brent on the mark. Ooh. If I'm correcting what, what I heard. So if he's called the wrong player, of course the player's not going to respond to him because he's... There's been some controversy. Hasn't there? This round, this year. So more seconds milk down. Saints are not home yet, but they can see the finish line from here. Wood sits it up. Marshall attacked it. Whitfield, Ward. Perryman wobbles it away. Ball scoots away from Wilkie. He hunts it. He's got the outlet back. Needs to be good. It is battle. And we're down to a minute. Heads out wide. Hill worked hard to get into space. Yeah, a few worked hard then. Patton worked hard for the short one. Hill worked hard for the longer one on the wing. Takes off. Floats it wide. Filippo got up there. Made the contest. Caminiti. Filippo. Steele. Feeds it back inside for the finishing touch. Sinclair to Burns. It's good by the Saints. Well played. Adam Kingsley not happy at all. Sinclair there with the second last touch of the game. 37 in total. Two goals to go with it. Six score involvements. Just a massive game from, from Sinclair. Talked about the little things in this contest all afternoon. The four points in this could be massive for the Saints. Burns floats that wide, but it does not matter. And if you're a Saint, you've got to let yourself believe in the firing line in 2023. A classic win away from home. One of the toughest four contests of the year. Come from behind a couple of times to win by 12. 12, 8, 80, the 13, 14, 92. Hard fought win by the Saints. We're really to fight this one out over four quarters. Both sides had some good moments throughout this game. Both sides suffered some big injuries too throughout this, this contest, in particular concussions to both, both teams. But in the end, Sinclair, Wanganee, Miller, Marshall was pretty good throughout the night, quite in the last quarter. Let's head downstairs to Alistair Lynch. Thanks, Dwayne, here with uh, a star of the St Kilda Football Club. Great to be back, Max. It took, took some shaking GWS tonight. Yeah, they're a pretty gritty side, so, um, yeah, it feels good getting them done. And, um, yeah, we played some good footy, so, yeah, it's really grateful to be out here. What was the message at halftime from Rossi? Because you had played some good uh, footy in that first half, but then let stages slip. Yeah, there's just a few a few little moments that weren't us, but 
overall, it was all pretty positive. Um, I think, you know, we had little patches where, where we didn't play the way we wanted to, but overall, um, you know, played some really good footy and you know, got the job done. And yourself, you must have been pretty happy to get that catch and goal early just to give you a bit of confidence after a long time on the sidelines. Yeah, you sort of forget what it's like to, to take a mark and kick a goal. So, um, no, I'm just really happy to be out here and um, can't thank the rehab guys at the club enough for, for all the work they put in. So, yeah, really happy. I suppose that sitting on the sidelines would have been a mixture of um, excitement and, and frustration, but you must love some of these young players that are coming through. Yeah, they're getting better each week. And, um, yeah, obviously the first half of the season was nice just um, sitting in the stands and watching them come on and, um, yeah, really excited to, to keep playing with them and, and see them develop more. And one of those, uh, always a difficult stage when you see a teammate go down, to see Mitch go down with, we weren't not sure what the issue was to start with, but to speak to him and see that he's fine must have been a relief. Yeah, it looks like a, pr a pretty scary hit and, um, you know, he's one of our most valuable players, so uh, pretty tough to, to see him like that. But... Um, he was up and about in the rooms and um, in good spirits, so it's good to see. No worries. Well, congratulations on your first game back and a very good win. Well done. Yeah, cool. Thanks, Mitchie.